Hello students, welcome back. Today we're going to continue with our disorders of the red blood cells. In the last lecture, we briefly touched on polycythemia and anemia. In this lecture, we'll explore polycythemia more. There are two major causes of polycythemia and two types of polycythemia, and we'll discuss those in this lecture. We've already drawn most of the components that we'll need in this discussion. Let's show them here. On the left here, we have our red bone marrow, which is the site of erythropoiesis. And the red bone marrow, under normal conditions, produces our red blood cells. In a volume of one microliter, we have approximately 5 million red blood cells. So this is the normal situation. Let's next discuss our first form of polycythemia. In the first form of polycythemia, there's a cancer of the erythropoietic cell line. Let's represent that here. So represented here is cancer of the erythropoietic cell line. These cancer cells lead to excess erythropoiesis and an elevated RBC count. This RBC count can be as high as 11 million red blood cells per microliter. And this is the first form of polycythemia. Let's represent our second form of polycythemia. Our second form of polycythemia is not as severe as the first form. In the first form, the RBC count may reach levels of 11 million RBCs per microliter. However, in the second form, the RBC count can be from 6 million to 8 million per microliter. Let's represent that here. At this point, let's annotate a few items. And so in our normal situation, we have approximately 5 million RBCs per microliter. Let's also indicate that a normal hematocrit is about 45%. In our normal situation, we have a red blood cell count of 5 million per microliter and a hematocrit of 45%. Let's look at our first form of polycythemia. In our first form of polycythemia, the red blood cell count can reach 11 million red blood cells per microliter. And the hematocrit can be as high as 80%. This form of polycythemia is caused by cancer of the erythropoietic cell line. The cancer cells are represented here. Let's next annotate our second type of polycythemia. In the second type of polycythemia, the red blood cell count can be between 6 and 8 million per microliter, with a hematocrit between that of normal and the first form of polycythemia. Let's identify some causes of this form of polycythemia. There are two primary causes of this type of polycythemia, dehydration and hypoxemia. And we've already discussed that hypoxemia, for whatever reason, causes erythropoiesis. Let's list a few reasons why we would have hypoxemia. There are several reasons why we could have hypoxemia, but we'll just list four of them. Smoking, air pollution, emphysema, or high altitude. Let's list those. Here we have our causes of the second form of polycythemia. The first one is dehydration. With dehydration, we aren't really increasing the number of red blood cells, but we're lowering the volume of water in the blood, and this decreases the blood volume. Since the blood volume is decreased and the amount of red blood cells is constant, that's going to lead to a concentration of the red blood cells. The second one is going to be hypoxemia, low oxygen concentration. We've already talked about low oxygen concentration, a multitude of reasons why we can have hypoxemia, but four of them include smoking, air pollution, emphysema, and high altitude. And so these causes lead to our second form of polycythemia. There are three primary dangers associated with polycythemia, the first form or the second form. Let's list those here. They include increased blood volume, increased blood pressure, and increased viscosity. Both forms of polycythemia cause three dangers, increased blood volume, increased blood pressure, and increased viscosity. With the blood being more viscous, the heart has to exert more force to move the blood. And so let's review what we've done so far. In the normal situation, our red bone marrow produces about 5 million red blood cells per microliter of blood, with a normal hematocrit of about 45%. In the first form of polycythemia, the cells of our erythropoietic cell line become cancerous, and they produce an excess amount of red blood cells, as high as 11 million RBCs per microliter, with a hematocrit of about 80%. This is the first form of polycythemia. In the second form of polycythemia, we can have an RBC count between 6 and 8 million RBCs per microliter. Causes of this form of polycythemia include dehydration and hypoxemia. The hypoxemia may result from smoking, air pollution, emphysema, or high altitude. There are three primary dangers associated with polycythemia, an increased blood volume, an increased blood pressure, and an increased viscosity. And so this covers the two types of polycythemia. Now let's give the names of these forms of polycythemia. Let's start with the first one. The first form of polycythemia is called primary polycythemia, or an alternate name, polycythemia vera, or true polycythemia. And so our first form of polycythemia is primary polycythemia, also known as polycythemia vera. Of course, our second form of polycythemia is going to be secondary polycythemia. And so this is our second form of polycythemia, secondary polycythemia. And this is all I have to say about the two forms of polycythemia, primary polycythemia and secondary polycythemia. And that concludes this lecture. I hope that you've learned a lot.